Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I've got a pretty cool app review for you guys. This app is called Earth 3D World Atlas. Now this app obviously has pretty good ratings on the App Store, uh, and I can see why after using this for a little bit. So this app is basically a 3D interactive globe that you guys can kind of go through and see tons of different views. So for example, there's natural view here, uh, which is basically Earth as we can see it from space. Then there's world wonders, which you can learn about, then human world, animal world, plant world, and sky map. All of these are in-app purchases. Uh, so if you want to get the whole thing, uh, you do have to download those, but the app price on this does drop sometimes. If you want to get everything unlocked, you're looking at about probably 15 bucks, but that's pretty much everything that's in it right now. And for the amount of content you get, I think it's worth it. So let's take a look. So there is the app right there called earth 3d on my home screen. So let's just pop it open and let it load up. And here it is. It's kind of getting uh, to be nighttime here. So I'm just going to make it daytime just so we can see it a little bit better. Let's go over some of the basic controls up here. You've got a plus and minus on these magnifying glasses. So if you just tap that, you can zoom in or you can drag it and kind of go in and out as you please. So as much as you want, let's just zoom in a little bit on my city here, Cincinnati. You can see they've got the red stadium right there because I currently have this set to world wonders. So it's got some cool things about each city. And I also have the weather turned on and the time zones and stuff like that. So you can see right here, it's got the time zone UTC minus five. And if I tap that to turn it on and off, you guys can see uh, that line right there that kind of goes through to turn on and off the time zones. You guys can kind of see that one right there. Turns off, turns on. Pretty cool. I like to have that feature turned on. Then this next button right here will allow you to change the type of map. So you got physical map, political map, language map, and vegetation map. These are all super cool uh, if you want to learn a little bit more about different countries. Personally, I keep mine on political map, but all of these work just fine. And I've got mine set to lock to true north, but if I turn that off, you guys can see this little compass. So if I twist it around, I can just tap that and it'll go straight back to true north, which is cool. I'll lock it for now. Then of course, you've got day and night mode, which is awesome because you can see you know, right now it's getting dark over my area because it's 630 at night and you can see some of the lights lighting up uh, in the big cities. But then if you scroll out and zoom over here, it's still light over there in L.A. Then across the drink uh, over here in China and Philippines, it is morning. So uh, it is light over there. And obviously in Hawaii, it is also daytime there as well. But I'm going to turn that off so that everything is bright right now so we can see everything. And then we've got this button over here uh, with these squares. So if you click that, you can see natural view world wonders, human world, animal world, plant world, and sky map. Um, I do want to thank the developers for sending out promo codes for these so I can show you all of the different ones in just a minute. Over here, you've got a search button so you can search for a specific place. Here, you can turn off all the city names and stuff if you just want to kind of sit back and relax and look at all of the different wonders here uh, instead of having all of the names and everything. Uh, but I like that on. And then down here, we've got settings. So if we hop into settings here, you guys can see we've got map symbols, geographic name, grid, currents, weather, time zones, airplanes, ships, and clouds. So you can turn those off if you don't want them. Let's drill down here into Cincinnati and click on the red stadium here. So yep, that is definitely uh, downtown Cincinnati. That is the Great American Ballpark uh, where the Reds play. And then if you click over here, you guys can see this is kind of zooming out just a bit. This is talking about the Ohio River, uh, which is pretty dang big and it's flooding right now a little bit. Gives you information about that. And then if we kind of zoom out just a bit, it's got some words about Kentucky here, which is pretty cool. And then if we click on this one, we got the United States of America. And then this one is zoomed out even more to North America. So you've got all these different things to take a look at from like inside all the way to the outside. It like zooms out. You can think of it like that. So that's really cool. And they've got tons of information. I mean, this is just one of these, uh, but you can tap on one of these buildings here and read about the Great American Tower at Queen City Square. It's a huge building. And of course, if you click this one, it zooms out to Ohio. This one zooms out to the United States. And this one zooms out to North America. Let's go back here. Let's hide that zoom out just a bit. So like I said, tons of these, not just the United States, but they've got these in all the different countries. If you want to learn about something, you can just tap on it and learn about it right there. That thing's pretty dope. So let's go ahead and click on this. Let's go to natural view. Very simple. This is just a basic globe like you would see maybe on Google Earth. Very similar to that. Not a whole lot going on there. Next up, let's go down. Let that one load up. There we go. And you can learn about like Henry Ford up here. Got tons of information on him and then other things too, like, like Terminator, Twilight Zone, Grey Line, Germanic languages, North America, and then United States. So all different types of things you can click through. Uh, you got hockey up here, of course, in Canada. They love their hockey. You can learn about that here. Up here, we got an igloo. That's pretty dope. Let's click on that. Very cool information here. No pun intended. Um, but yeah, there's tons of information. I don't want to go through all of it and spoil the app for you. Definitely check this out. It is really cool. Uh, I really like to see the different animals and the different places uh, all around the world. Now you're probably familiar with most of these animals from the U.S., uh, but then you start going up into Canada and the Arctic region 
and even across the drink, like I said, uh, over here to China and Southeast Asia, there's all kinds of cool animals you can click on and learn a bit more about. Like here we have a rhino. Over here we have, what is that, a king cobra? Oh, that's an Indian cobra. Looking pretty crazy right there. So lots of stuff to look at here. Let's go back out. It shows you all the different types of indigenous plants to each area, and there's a lot. Like you guys can see just how many there are in here. And they're really cool. Like I can click on this one right here. This one is about a species of banana native to Southeast Asia. And you can see pictures of it right there. Some of these do have multiple pictures, uh, which is cool. You can slide through that uh, and take a look. Everything on this app is very snappy and fluid. And I know it's loading a ton of data, but for how fluid it is, it's pretty awesome. So if I zoom in here and just click on one of these, uh, I can read more about these plants as well, these trees. Now let's go ahead and back out one more time here, guys, and show you guys SkyMap. Uh, now this one's pretty cool, kind of moves a little bit. Uh, when I move my phone. The other worlds do that as well. If you move your phone, it's pretty cool. Um, we can kind of scroll around and see the different constellations. You can also increase the amount of stars in the background uh, if you want to just focus in on the constellations themselves, or if you want more of the uh, ancillary stars in the background, you can turn that on as well. Zoom right out, scroll all the way around. It's really cool. So this is cool for you uh, astronomy buffs like myself. Really do like this feature. But then down here at the bottom, we've got Earth Facts, which you guys can kind of scroll through and read about Earth if maybe you didn't know some of these things. Um, some of these are pretty basic, but some of them get a little bit more technical, which is really cool. So it's got stuff for everyone in here, really, whether you're young and just starting to learn about the world, or even if you're my age, you know, you're in your 20s and you just want to learn about some cool stuff. So I'm going to back out of here and go back to human world real quick just to wrap up this video. So there's one other thing I wanted to show you guys. If you click on the settings cog here and then click on preferences, you guys can see you can go into a bit more. So general here, you can choose the font scale, toolbar opacity, parallax. You can turn that on or off if it bothers you. Fahrenheit or Celsius, or you can choose your language here. Uh, pretty basic stuff. But then in here, this is where you would buy these extra in-app purchases. So if you didn't want human world, but you wanted, I don't know, plant world, you could go in and buy that specifically if you wanted to learn about that. So it's really cool, guys. I highly recommend this app. This is not like a typical game or anything. Uh, this is just a really cool tool that you can use to just learn about things. Or if you're just bored and want to sit back and not play a mindless game like Candy Crush and you actually want to learn something, you could use this and kind of go through here and have some fun while you're at it. It's great for kids and adults. And the price point does not break the bank. And there's just so much information in here. I cannot stress that enough. Check it out, guys. I highly recommend it. Links down below if you want to pick it up for yourself on the iTunes app store. That's all I got for this one. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.